pretty tight in there. And there's your GH5S. Let's make sure I have battery. Okay, I have battery. So now we install backwards. All right. Loosen it up. I'm just losing it here. I know you probably can't see this, but this is more like insurance purposes. So if something bad happens, I can let them know in a video. There it is. All right. All right. That's crazy. All right. I'm gonna lock it in for now, but it's heavy. Okay. Still heavy. A little bit. All right. I'm probably gonna want my flip screen to be out when I'm recording like this. So I'm gonna have to balance it like that because you wanna balance it like you're, how you're recording it, you know? So, oh, okay, we went way too far. Move it. I'm just getting an initial balance here. All right, I'm gonna stand up, this is hard. Whoa, shoot, too much. I love how everything is kind of toolless. You don't need any fancy tools. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna be able to manhandle this camera just fine. Okay, it's pretty good, it's not moving. It's not moving forwards or backwards. It's just staying, right? That's what you want. Obviously, it's moving kind of this way, but we'll fix that in a sec. Okay. Now, it's back heavy. Let's go up front, done. Nope, messed it up. Move forward, forward, forward. Okay, that's better. Locking it down. Okay, so now it's just side to side heavy. So now what I'm gonna do is adjust this back one and move it left and right. Here we go. Okay. It's actually right heavy. I need to go the opposite way. This really feels like it's well made. Good job, Zion. Doesn't look, doesn't feel too plasticky, you know. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so let's do that again. I usually do it twice. Good. Check in front and back here. Good. If you want, you can actually turn the camera on and it has a leveler. So if you want to check the balance that way, so it's a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna move it forward just a little bit. Too much. Okay, now it's shifting to the left. I don't know why, but it is. There. I'm gonna try and go up front and see if it moves. It's moving back. That should stay. If it's balanced, that should stay, but it's not. So you gotta keep tweaking. That's moving forward a little bit. You're usually pretty much doing all your axes again, just to make sure that it's good to go. 
And this is really straight out of the box too. All right, the left one is kind of tricky. Yeah, that's actually good. It's supposed to stay that way. Oh, man, that sucks. I hate that. That means it's that heavy on the left. So I'm going to move it out. I'm going to lock it tight. Good. 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 Now it's moving this way. Okay, now let's go that way. All right. All right, I'm going to do the yaw real quick. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it's checking it up. So. Yeah, holy crap, that's bad. Do you see how that when I'm tilting it, it's just spinning to the right? So I'm gonna do the yaw axis now. Move it to the right. Still doing it. To the right. There you go, see how it's not moving anymore? That's good. Yo, it's good. All right. Okay. Now, yeah, that's kind of tilting to the right a little bit. So, move it left. Now it's too much. This is like the micro adjustments you gotta do. Micro, like really, really small. Okay. Let's see how we're doing here. Front. Pitch, let's do this test. Good. Good. All right. There you go. Oh, okay. It's actually facing them the wrong way, dummy. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much it. It's set up. It looks freaking stable, but. The only way to find out for real is testing it out, so let's go ahead and take it for a spin.